Hey everybody, Matt with Sickle Bike Shop. So today I want to talk about bike fit and the things on your handlebars and your stem that make a really big difference. So similar to our last video where we were talking about um, different types of bikes and how they are designed to do certain things. Say in this instance you have your bike, you like your bike, but you want to change a couple things, make it act a little differently, um, or maybe make it more comfortable. Um, one of the big things to make a huge noticeable difference on your bike are handlebars and stems. Um, so in front of me I have three different handlebars that are very different and I have three different stems that are also very different. Um, a lot of your bikes say you bought a cross country style bike. That's probably going to come with a handlebar that's flatter and it's probably got a stem that's a little bit longer. Um, the reason for that is it wants to put you in a body position that you are a little bit more forward over the front of your bike. That's going to really help you get into a powerful, fast riding position. And then also it's designed that as you're going up hills, um, it's really designed to be efficient doing the more uphill style riding, um, more cross country, flatter with some good uphills uh, and less, less on the focus for downhill riding. Um, so say you have a cross country bike, but you want it to feel a little bit a little bit easier going downhill, or maybe you're just too far over the front of your bike um, and you're just experiencing a lot of back pain, um, and maybe it's just it feels like you're going to be going over your handlebars every time you go downhill. Something you can do with that is if your stem is about that long, what you can do is just shrink it. Just get a stem that's shorter. Um, a shorter stem is going to physically take you from this riding position and just bring you in closer. So it's not going to change your hand height at all, it's just going to bring you closer, which is going to bring your back straighter and more upright. Um, that can make a huge difference as far as um, your back comfort. Uh, if you're experiencing low back pain, just physically bringing yourself close, like bringing those hands closer is going to allow your elbows to get a little bit more bend. And your elbows act as a shock absorber, so as you're riding down the trails, if your hands are too far out in front and your arms are locked, all of that vibration is going straight into your shoulders and into your back. If you can bring your hands closer, um, that's going to put a little bend in your elbow, then you can have um, kind of a natural shock absorber going on with your arms. Um, so stem length, that is one way to do that. Um, or on the flip side, say you have a bike that is um, has a really short stem uh, and you really feel like, hey, every time I go up a hill, I'm just popping a wheelie constantly. Um, or, hey, I'm going into a corner and I'm losing traction on my front tire. Um, some of that can be my rise is too tall or my stem is too close that I don't have any weight over the front end of my bike. So in that case, maybe you go with a longer stem to bring you more forward um, which will allow you to go up hills without popping wheelies. Um, it'll allow you to go into a corner and have some more weight on that front tire, which will allow you to grip better. So there's a balance that we wanna that we wanna find. Um, handlebars are another really good way to do that. So say you have a kind of a mid-range stem. If you just physically need to sit up straighter, um, you can also accomplish that by adding rise to your handlebar. Um, so this is a 30 mil rise. This is a zero rise, um, so that's just physically how far up that bend is. Um, so if I'm riding on a bar like this, again, it's just bringing my hand height up higher, which is probably going to make me sit up a little straighter. A lot of times you're going to want to combine the two things. So you can do one factor at a time, but if you just are really having a lot of problems with your back and you've got a setup that looks like this, or it's flat bar, long stem, um, if you go to a, a riser bar with a short stem, you're going to drastically change that position from this to this, and you're going to be way more comfortable on your bike. Um, you just do need to consider that the trade-off, your bike is designed to have a certain amount of weight over the front um, or a certain amount of weight back. Um, so you can kind of throw off the balance of your bike, um, but that's something we can easily work with you on your bike to get you fit um, really well to just have a, a much better, more pleasant riding experience. So uh, if you guys got any questions, always feel free to call, feel free to stop in. We have a lot of bikes with a lot of different setups on them that you can kind of feel the difference between the two um, to really get you dialed in to what is actually gonna work for you. Because um, the bike manufacturer can't possibly make a bike that's gonna fit everybody well. 
Um, so there's a lot of things that we should probably change after you get your bike um, to make it actually appropriately fit you. Now everybody's arms are the same length, so now everybody's torso is the same length, so don't expect that you get on a bike and it's going to fit you perfect. Um, it really does take a little bit of fine tuning. So thanks, appreciate it.